Hello, today I am here with another series of character creation. We will make this cute little girl. We will model it, we will do unwrapping and then we will do the final step of texturing. And this will be the our final model. So let's begin. This will be the first part of character creation series. In this part we will model the character face and clothes. I'm using a reference for this and placing a image in 3D viewport. It will help us a lot in modeling. I'm using a subdivide cube for face and duplicating the same face cube for making the hairs. I selected some vertices from the mesh and press V to tear them apart to make the hairs as the reference and did some tweaking to match the hairs with the image we placed. Use a cube for making neck. For shirt we add a cube and place it on the required position on the reference and did the mirror modifier so we only have to work on one side and other side will be mirrored. And also use the subdivision modifier. We extrude the bottom vertices of the cube and place them on the reference. Don't forget we are doing this on the front view. For front view press 1. We also need to fix the mesh from side view. For side view press 3. For arms we select the top side vertices and press I to insert the face and extrude it and place it on the reference in front view and did some tweaking for legs used a cube with subdivision modifier extrude the vertices in z axis and place and scale them in the reference next step is to make the shoe for this i took a cube and apply one level of subdivision delete the bottom and top right vertices Extrude the bottom right vertices in the Y axis and dull the central vertices. Scale the left side vertices in X axis and extrude the bottom left vertices in the Z axis. And create the missing face by selecting the vertices and by pressing F. To connect the bottom vertices, use the grid fill option. Oh, there is an issue. To solve this, press N and select the recalculate normal outside option. Use solidify modifier, shoes is ready now, scale and place it in the required position and do some tweaking to match with the reference. Apply the mirror modifier in leg and shoe to change the mirror position according to the reference. After applying, did the correct right side leg and shoe placement and make the socks by adding a loop cut. Now it's time to make the hair bow. For this we use a mirrored cube with subdivision modifier and make the shape of the bow by adding the loop cuts. And place it in the required position on the reference. We move the arms a little bit back to place the hands. To make the hands, we use a cube with subdivision modifier, place it on the arm sleeves in the side view, delete the top face and apply the two level of subdivision. Scale the bottom vertices to match the reference. Extrude it one time. Extrude the right side vertices to make the thumb and did some tweaking from front and side view. Now it's time to make the finger. Select one face from the front view and extrude it. Then select the face from side view and extrude it. And did the same for third finger. And did some vertices tweaking. Now we use the subdivision and bevel modifier to make the fingers smooth and edgy. We finally did it. Ta -ta -da. The girl character broke out is ready. In the next video, we will do the face, eyes, 
clothing frill and the pocket bear if you find this video useful press the like and subscribe button and enjoy the next video if you have some questions you can ask in the comments i will reply